Attack 2 Heavy Class Helicopter will be a combat helicopter that can successfully perform its mission in harsh geographical and environmental conditions. It will have increased payload capacity and modern avionic systems alongside with high performance and low maintenance cost. The first test flight is planned for 2024. Alka is a locally developed direct energy weapon by Turkey. It is capable of destroying different types of drones at mid-flight. It can accurately track multiple targets with its onboard radars and electro-optics. The LT is the future third generation main battle tank for the Turkish army. It incorporates the most modern features and expected to be in service by 2021. With its superior firepower, hit rate, armors, high mobility and survivability features, it will be one of the most important assets of the Turkish military. Mini HR Bomb is the GPS INS guidance bomb, which has the capability of attacking targets within the range of 55 nautical miles using its retarding diamond shaped canards. It can penetrate reinforced concrete targets with its high precision hit capabilities and low collateral damage with target vicinity. TFX is the proposed next generation air superiority fighter being developed by Turkish Aerospace Industry. First aircraft is going to fly by 2023. It will feature stealth and super cruise capabilities as well as internal weapons bay and advanced sensors. Tubitak Bilgam is a Turkish made high energy laser system. It cuts a 22 mm steel armor plate from a range of 500 meters on test trial. It is designed to effectively eliminate threats posed by unmanned aerial and underwater vehicles at the range of 500 meters, as well as improvised explosive devices at the range of 200 meters. Tulpar is a new generation multi-purpose vehicle platform capable of operating in a wide range of challenging terrains and climatic conditions. It is the future of armor combat vehicle with its technical and tactical characteristics such as protection, mobility, electronic infrastructure and firepower. The Akinchi is the latest high altitude, long endurance unmanned aircraft currently under development. First deliveries are scheduled for 2021. It is a 4.5 ton UCAV capable of deploying 1.5 ton payload with an airframe equipped with two turboprop engines. Turkey will develop 10 ton utility helicopter for wide range of operational requirements. It will accommodate advanced avionics and mission systems. Atmaka is a modern guided anti-ship missile that can be used in any weather and can be effective against fixed and moving targets. The missile has a range of up to 250 km, hovers low above the water and can reach the target both on a linear and a vertical direction. Gok Deniz is a new close-in weapon system for Turkish Navy. It is able to perform target detection, identification, tracking, and kill operations in full autonomous mode. It provides the most effective air defense against anti-ship missile, UAVs, fighter jets, helicopters, and surface naval threats. Pars 3 8x8 is the new generation of wheeled armored combat vehicle with great mobility, protection, payload, and growth potentials. Paras 6x6 Scout is a special purpose tactical vehicle equipped with modern technologies and high situational awareness features that is designed especially for reconnaissance. FNSS will supply Paras 6x6 Scout and 8x8 armored vehicle to the Turkish armed forces. Goktuk is a Turkish program to develop two air to air missiles. Gogdogan and Bozdogan. 
It will likely replace the AIM-9 Sidewinder and AIM-120 MRM of Turkish military. The project is expected to be completed by 2020. Alpen MT is a modern medium weight tank being developed jointly by FNSS and PT Pindad. It is designed to offer high lethality in combination with superior tactical mobility. It has advanced ballistic and mine protection system, superior firepower and state-of-the-art technology supported by the battlefield management system and laser warning systems. Istanbul class frigates are a planned group of four frigates for the Turkish Navy. First frigate is expected to commission in 2021. It will be equipped with a MK-41 vertical launch system for ESSM, Harpoon and Atmaka missiles along with other systems for improved multi-role combat capabilities. Karok is a man portable soldier launch fire and forget anti-tank guided missile with a stated range of 1000 meter plus. It carries the tandem warhead and is equipped with a hybrid dual stage rocket engine. S-400 is the Russia's most advanced long-range anti-aircraft missile system. Delivery is expected to start in 2019. It uses four types of missiles capable of destroying aerial targets including planes, drones, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles at a range of 40 to 400 km. Sahi-209 Block 2 is a railgun system currently undergoing testing. It will be used in air defense and in attack missions. With a 10 megajoule pulse power supply, it is effective at 50 km and is capable of firing hypersonic rapid bullet. SARB-83 is a penetrator bomb which is designed to be used against surface and underground targets. It contains multiple warhead system technology. It can penetrate and destroy 1.8 meter concrete. Sapan Railgun is a 14 megajoule electromagnetic railgun developed by the Scientific and Technological Research Council of Turkey. This weapon will arm the Turkish Navy future class frigates TF2000. It is also able to carry out 10 firings within one minute. The Anka 2 is a twin engine version of the Anka S, unmanned combat aerial vehicle which has a significantly higher payload capacity. The mid altitude long endurance Anka 2 can conduct a range of missions such as real time intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Som J is the next generation medium range all weather air to surface standoff cruise missile. It is designed to be used against heavily defended, high value stationary and moving surface and land targets. Cyper is a long range air defense system to protect against aerial vehicles along with ballistic missile systems. It will be developed with higher altitude compared to ISAR. The first delivery of the Cyper is planned for 2021. TCG Anadolu is an amphibious assault ship of the Turkish Navy that can be configured as a light aircraft carrier and scheduled to join the fleet in 2021. It is intended to sustain long endurance, combat or humanitarian relief operations and will be capable of operating up to 12 F-35B and 12 helicopters. The TF-2000 class is a projected anti-air warfare destroyer currently undergoing development by the Turkish Naval Institute. It will support missions such as command, control and communication, reconnaissance, early warning, surface warfare, anti-submarine and electronic warfare. Tufan is an electromagnetic railgun currently under development. 
According to latest test, it has the muzzle velocity of 9 times the speed of sound. The gun is expected to be implemented in both long-range ground artillery and air defense system in the Turkish Armed Forces. The Turkish Navy currently plans to procure six Type 214 T9 submarines. It will be equipped with heavy torpedoes and harpoon missiles. Under the 2 billion euro contract, the ships are being built in Turkey with a mix of subsystems drawn from Turkey's domestic industry and Germany. Harjet is a military training aircraft to be designed and developed by Turkish aerospace industry. It is designed for combat training, close air support, border security and counter-terrorism. Jaha is a new generation of tracked amphibious armored vehicle developed by FNSS. It is intended to assist the Turkish naval forces during amphibious operations. It is expected to be superior in terms of the number of personnel to be transported, ballistic and mine protection level, performance criteria on land and water. Yatagan is a 40mm laser-guided miniature missile that can be fired from a grenade launcher mounted on an assault rifle, as well as from unmanned land, naval and aerial vehicles. It has a greater effective range than the maximum range of existing grenade launcher ammunition. Goktur is a synthetic aperture radar Earth observation satellite. The launch of Gotruk 3 is planned by end of 2019. It will provide high resolution images of any location in day and night and in any weather conditions to meet the requirements of the Turkish military. Turkey will produce Havasaw's standoff jammer aircraft to detect and suppress enemy air defense surveillance during air force operations. First deliveries of aircraft plan to begin in 2023. Isar A is a low altitude air defense system based on ACV 30 chassis. It will be armed with four vertical launched missiles. Isar O is a medium altitude air defense system that utilizes infrared homing for guidance. It is mounted on a Mercedes Benz Jetros chassis. Both are designed to protect against fighter jets, bombers, helicopters, UAVs, and missiles. It will be in service by 2021 to 2022.